gonna go big. Hello everyone, continuing on from last week, I've been in my big A3 sketchbook, doing more sketches, getting ideas from last week's artist date and discovering that designer book. Anyway, I've been sketching, still thinking of my ideas, still going in with the bird and the portrait scene and flight and transformation and all this going on in my head. These are butterflies, not birds. And then I liked this one. This was taken from one of Alexander McQueen's outfits, but obviously changed. And these birds going up here. This one was another taken from the idea from another design of his. And, but I wanted to get this bird in as well. I think that's it for now. So a few sketches on the go and play around with some colour and some different materials like usual, mixed media and I'll see where it takes me and I'll also tell you what's been happening with, with the book The Artist's Way as well. Okay. I'm just going to go in with some watercolour pencils. I'll spray first. So yeah, have you heard of the saying, steal like an artist? <laughs> I suppose that's what I'm doing. I'm taking ideas from another artist, although be it a designer, but I'm making it my own. I don't know if you can hear the cat crying in the background. <laughs> to take ideas, as long as you change it and like I said, Make it your own. Oh, I've got a yellow. Ah, oh, yes. Fancy this bird being yellowy. And I'm still working with this idea of this kind of phoenix rising up. I like that this arm goes up into this wing and then this is coming down here you can see I've faintly got the figure in I don't know whether I'll keep that or not mm, I don't think I will my Karen dash out ah there's a pinky a bit more squirt wonder if it's put some hair going up there or not. Okay, I'll leave that that side, go on this side a little bit. Mm-hmm. Blue. Oh, squirty squirt. Not really thinking about colours at the minute, just thinking about positioning, you know, it's a sketchbook so we're getting ideas down. Again, I got the whole figure in this one. Oh, I like that yellow. Oh, got some purple. Is that purple? No, it's more of a brown. I would like some purple. Ah, purple, yes. That's that idea for now. What else have I got? Ah, so this one was kind of this one, but with just the face. Not really like this pinky for the face. 
anyway. Sketchbook. To remember, it's just a sketchbook, so quite fancy doing some nice orange hair. My nieces have got red hair. Reminds me of them. Yeah, I like that. I like the bluebirds. Maybe do the wing, this wing blue as well, like the wings of the bird. Then all this background will be all my usual mixed media stuff. Hopefully you can see these pencil marks. Purple, that's not purple. Oh well, pink and purple butterflies. Where's my purple? I quite fancy purple. nice as a painting. Obviously work more with different colours. I'd like that. I like I would like to see it with some drippies coming down. So I've just fishing in my drawers and I found these. Never even used them. Well I don't think no. Sure I've never even used them. These shiny metallic watercolour paints. So let's have a look at ooh Let's have a little go at them. So yeah, these, oh where are they? These, really good find. I'd forgotten that I had them. Shiny metallic watercolour paints. There's this lovely gold, silver, and then the metallics in green, blue, turquoise, peachy colour and the pink. So I had a little play around with them, but it's still really, really wet. So I'm gonna have to leave that for a little bit to dry and I'll come back and I'm not sure if I want to keep working on those. I just want to attack some canvases. It's getting me really wanting to just go for it. So maybe I will. <laughs> Hi, I was just in the middle of preparing these mini Two For Joy series mixed media paintings ready to put on my brand new website, really excited. So I thought I'd, for you artists out there, I thought I'd just share with you how I'm going to prepare them, ready to be sent to a happy collector. Okay, so I've got my painting, my original painting. This is called Heart of Gold. So I'll write that on the back straight away. I've already signed it. Sign it on the back as well. So what are these small paintings like this? I just sign with my initials. So that is ready to be checked out in the mount. Line it up nicely. Check. Looks fine. Looks good. 
So then I like to just really get these stuck down nicely. So then I'm going to, I've cut these sheets of paper to just add a little bit more protection. So that's just that little bit of extra protection for in the post and I'm going to put the name on the back before I forget. Heart of Gold. And I just do my initials on this bit. So on the front I just sign with my initials and I call it Heart of Gold because there's a lovely golden heart in that one. So that, that's ready to go and then I'm going to wrap it in some cellophane to give it some extra protection. Uh, I won't fill that because it would be a bit boring for you. <laughs> well, ooh, and I will add a little, my little business card, my details on the back. And that will be ready to be sent out anywhere in the world. I'm going to go big. So I decided not to work on the, continue working on the sketchbook, but to get some canvases out. This is not the biggest one actually, this is the smaller of the two that I started. This one is I think 60 by 60 centimeters. This one is bigger. You'll see me in a minute starting the second one. Here I got out my sponge brush and just kind of filling in the areas around the imagery. Oh, on this one I'm actually working on one of the birds. So just getting some colour down there, just filling the canvas and getting started. So going right back to the beginning of the video when I said I would chat to you about how I'm getting on with the Artist Way book. So I'm on my third week and I've been doing my morning pages every day. I my, did my Artist Date first one which you've seen in the last video and I've been out for walks, I've been out for bike rides, which I count as artist dates because I'm looking around all the time looking for creativity or something to ideas to paint. But I had to kind of go back because I realized that I hadn't done any of the tasks and there's tasks to do at the end of each week. Oh, here I'm getting out my spray paint and I'm going up the canvas because I wanted to have this wing coming from behind the person. So I'm just kind of getting that shape in and I'm using this gold spray paint. So yeah, the tasks were quite fun to do. There was one of them where you had to imagine, well, yeah, I suppose imagine that if you weren't doing what you were doing, like me being an artist, what other things would you like to have done with your life? And I had to be an adventurer, a singer, an actor, a dancer, a writer. So that was quite fun to do. Another task was to look back on your childhood and try to remember somebody who was who encouraged you to be creative and then somebody who didn't <laughs> and to write a letter to the person who encouraged you and I wrote a letter to my to one of my primary school teachers thanking thanking her for always choosing my piece of artwork to go up on the school kind of gallery wall and obviously that encouraged me to be more creative. And then thinking of somebody who wasn't so supportive in creativity, it was another teacher in middle school, an art teacher. 
and I'd, we'd all been working on our own project and this was kind of a replacement teacher this one day and this teacher came in and she held up our work asking whose work was whose and mine was a camel in a desert scene with pyramids and rocks and stuff and she said to me who's this camel wearing the big boots and started laughing and everybody started laughing because it was a camel it was it was like a black silhouette behind a rock and I was trying to make some perspective and it was a real cool mixed media piece with and I put tissue paper over and done all these things and I felt you know a bit miffed and later on in that lesson she came to me and said oh by the way the head of the department wants to see you about this piece of of artwork and I never went because I felt bad and I always wonder what he would have said to me and I think he would have said something positive and good because it was a really interesting piece but there you go ah so here I'm changing for the bigger canvas and I have to lower my stand my easel stand because it was a bit too high to for me to reach up and work on so this one is kind of, I suppose this is quite a dancer <laughs> looks a bit like a dancer because I'm going all back to my list of of five things how bizarre I'm just talking about it now and it's just kind of occurring to me it's really weird <laughs> so yeah here am I on the big canvas which is 80 by 80 centimeters and another oh, another good thing that was fun to do was to make a list of I think it was 20 20 things that you like to do or you've liked you've enjoyed doing and next to it put a date of when you last did it and I think that was kind of a thing to choose one choose one of the list to do your next artist date I think that was it but some of the things you write down realize that you haven't done it for absolutely ages I think there was one what was it one on I'm looking in my book now horse riding and the last time I did it was in 2021 so I need to get back on the horse <laughs> so this painting too was kind of transferred from the idea in my sketchbook where we've got this figure and this beautiful flowing dress and I wanted to get these birds in as well and this time I'm doing three birds in this one and I always feel like I put her arms so that she looks like she's kind of ready to take off and fly with the birds I really like in these beginning stages to squirt lots of water down get the canvas really wet so that the paint is really loose here I'm just squirting straight out of the tube and using my piece of card to scrape that paint around Yeah, so there was other tasks as well, which I, <laughs> I can't remember just at the minute. But like I said, I'm on week three and I'm maybe a little bit behind because I went back and did the tasks. So there'll be more tasks at the end of this week as well, which I'm looking forward to. I'm still doing my morning pages, so that's really good. Here I turn the canvas upside down, so it's just easier to work on. I, I like turning things, I like turning the painting upside down, even right, even towards the end of a painting. Gives you a different perspective.
and I do like to get my fingers in there, get all messy, all wet and messy. <laughs> So I've ended up being at the same stage as I was with the sketchbook where everything's really wet, but I've started some canvases, I've made a start. So you can see my figure here with the nice, this skirt going off like a, almost like feathers and these three birds. Hopefully you can work it out. And this one is, oh, it's really heavy, this canvas. Um, this is a the girl looking up to these two. There are two. <laughs> there are two. You'll see them later. There are two birds there. So I wanted to get some gold in to start. This is a wing going up behind. So made a start. Yeah, so I make a start and I love it. I love just diving in there and not thinking and getting in the zone but I'm looking over there and I've got one two three four five paintings that I've got to finish and that is <laughs> for me the difficult part because they're kind of in the middle and I'm going to attack with oils so I'll leave this here for now I'm going to get to them and because the video is going to be really long if not and I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be able to crack on and get a painting finished. Or two, or three. Okay, bye for now. Au revoir. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Do subscribe if you want to be informed of new videos. Bye.